Hello everyone and I hope you can see me. Uh, I am streaming from my apartment, <laughs> actually my studio. And so I just wanted to share with you some very quick ideas um, because I, I got uh, some information that, that might be also uh, a problem for you. So uh, today I, I discovered a way to install the a plugin on the Adobe uh, 2021, uh, so the last version of Adobe Photoshop. Uh, the plugin is Nick Collection, the the old version, the one that is free, so that is still free and you can find it online for free. Um, actually, these uh, plugins for me are really good and I use it uh, mainly for for my editing my pictures. Um, I, there is a new version of the plugin that is uh, in, including a lot more. Uh, which I'm not interested in, and but but it's really valuable. So, um, as you can see, you can this this method is totally legal because the the, the version of 2012 of Google um, the ex Google let's say uh, the Google plugin called Nick Collection was uh, released for free. As you can see, there is in fact uh, I, I I can show you very quickly. There is in fact a possibility to um, to see them. The, that that you can still have the the, the 2012 uh, collection for free. You just have to put your email address, and they will send you a beautiful link in which you can download it. Um, there is a caveat. Um, the caveat is the following: it doesn't work. <laughs> so it doesn't work on uh, Mac OS Big Sur, the last version, and I really don't think they will update it. Uh, this plugin is something. A little bit old and there is a new version that is much more comprehensive uh, but for me still it's still very valuable so I want you to 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 know that there is a possibility to to use it and to to make it work on uh, the last version of um, the the Mac um, OS and also <laughs> furthermore is working on the new chip of Apple so the M1 uh, chip so I, I have here a computer that is uh, a Mac mini with uh, the M1 chip and I'm streaming with this computer I'm I'm, I'm totally happy of that computer it's uh, um, my, my goal was to install this plugin inside uh, Adobe Photoshop after two days of headache I figure out the step and this uh, it's a little bit uh, counter counterintuitive but um, the easy the easy way to 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 do it it's um, it's the following there are there are different steps um, there are five steps that that uh, you, you need to know so the first step is like to to have a friend <laughs> which uh, which has installed um, a version of the plugin that is working or uh, old computer in which you you have the backup and is working. Um, so this is uh, this is a con the first condition. Um, I will experiment also to to find another solution, which uh, implies only the download of the um, of the plugin. But I don't know if this will work. So the first uh, the first solution uh, that I'm describing here is just for for who uh, as computer that has already installed the plugin and you can take it out, uh, extrapolate and put it inside uh, this new computer. And the installation, unfortunately, doesn't work and um, and you will not be able to, to install it. So this is the first thing you need to do. This is, to, as this is more uh, a requirement than, than a step. Mm, the real first step is um, to to, to go to Nick Collection at the new website and to download the, the, the trial of the new plugin. So you can see um, the new company that is managing this, um, this beautiful plugin uh, give you, gives you the possibility to download the, the Nick Collection the, for, for a trial. And that, that's, this is a strange step, but I will, I will clarify immediately. Uh, what if you download this um, this version? So the last version. What this will do is will uh, prepare your system to receive the old version of the plugin. I don't know what's uh, going on in back end, but today I I was receiving um, strange errors, 
and they got fixed by the installation of the demo and this uh, this is simply a step to to make sure that your system is ready once you install the demo you can uh, um, you can uh, of course um, go into Photoshop see the demo is working uh, it's giving 35 days of trial and therefore after um, you you see that everything works you just close Photoshop and you um, be sure that uh, to uninstall the demo and that's the second step the third step it's uh, um, easy so you take the files that you copied from the old computer and you put exactly where they they were in the old computer to the new one um, so you can see for example I, I will show you in my computer how, we, how it's, uh, it's working so um, there is nothing to okay I will just show you if I can okay so you can see this is a directory in which the application are uh, usually what's happening is like you will find a, a folder this is Adobe 2021 but um, it's ev every Adobe inside uh, application there is a folder in which there is a, a f another subfolder called plugins you open that and in my case under DXO there is all those plugins that are the old one of 2012 um, you can also find it them um, without this D DXO folder but just you copy all the folder in your hard disk uh, so from the old PC, old PC and then you do the same for another folder that usually is an under uh, application is always called uh, Nick Collection as here and you can see there is all the software that are running in the Nick Collection under there so you just take this one, the second folder you copy it and you back up it and that's it, it's working uh, so the problem you might have uh, encountered um, is that, for example, if you just uh, if you ignore the fact to download the demo and then uh, install it and then uninstall it again and then uh, copy the files. If you if you just copy the files, what 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 can happen is like there is a strange error coming out from <laughs> from the plugin, which is like the, your trial has has expired. Which is weird because the plugin are free, but uh, unfortunately, something happening in the back end, which I don't know when you do the installation, that you cannot replicate without this demo in installation in pra practical. So just to, to make everything clear, um, the first step, so just just to make one one step after the other, so you can you can re listen to the video, and maybe make a <laughs> make a little bit of. Um, uh, let's say um, logic and uh, of it, so you you can you can take you can take it one by one. Uh, slow my voice down. I don't know. Take it in your time. Um, so the first step is that you go to the website and you download the demo, the new version of the plugin. You install the demo, and this is the first step. You open uh, Photoshop. And you see everything works. Close Photoshop and then you uninstall the demo so just uh, you click again on the installation uh, folder and then there is an in uninstall button you just do that the second uh, the third step is like the second step is an uninstall the third step is like uh, copy the folder of plugin inside the plugin uh, of your photoshop and this is the, sec uh, the third the fourth step is like copy also the other folder which uh, will be like um, the one that contains the actual plugin software and then the last step you back, uh, back up everything so you're sure that the next time <laughs> everything you, you, you have everything ready um, another thing that you might consider so this is working only for people as of course you, you need to have a Mac but it's working on uh, the M1 and it's working on the um, last version of Photoshop and I can also show you it's everything working perfectly so I, I show I, I just open an image and uh, you can see there is the selective tool um, 
the only problem that you might encounter uh, if you use uh, is, uh, if you don't use the selective tool you can also go up up here and new collection and use it from there sometimes this um, create problems to use the the plugin from this option here um, the best is using the uh, selective tool so you just uh, go on the images the same thing you just uh, have to find whatever you want to use for example Coral, color fx pro and just uh, as you can see everything works perfectly so like uh, the old version uh, of course it's not nice as the the new one which i recommend if you if you have budget to spend but i don't need it i don't want to spend all, all the money on that so this was what i wanted to do so this is beautiful exactly what i wanted to do um, so for example i don't know you you can use one of the plugins i i just took one uh, there and then price okay as you can see everything is generated and everything works uh, very well um, so you are good to go i hope this um, things helped you and if you want more details i can do a step-by-step -step guide i just didn't want to do it because i mean it doesn't make sense to do it if not no one is interested in the problem but if you have a question just uh, write it down below the video I'll try my best to, to reply to that. I just wanted to do a spontaneous video because I don't want to go into editing and I just wanted to give you the information that is possible. I will also try to do it without this copy paste from an old Mac. So you, you can you can see if it, I can see if it's working. I don't know if it, this will work. Um, the only thing I can give us hint and this is what I want to try, but, but but I don't know if you just just before leaving you. So what I would like to to try it out is the following uh, thing. So um, here is um, the here is the, the installation folder. So there is a if you go to let's see if I find it. Here is the um, so if you if you open the new collection this is uh, the installation folder and uh, the only thing I, I was thinking to do it's like to to go inside the installation folder click uh, this um, button here the right button and uh, click on show package contents and if you go on package contents what you can do here is something is very smart <laughs> you can see the contents and you can um, go to or resources and you can see you can unpack all this uh, the various tool and uh, under uh, this is uh, just an archive so you can see there is an analog f uh, analog fx pro there is all the tools you can unplug them so unzip them uh, and, and decompress them let's say and then after you can you can pick the the files inside and recreate the structure but i, I really don't know if this works or it's just created uh, more like, confusion in the computer and this is what i will try mm, so instead of having in particularly instead instead of having this uh, plugin installed um you you just take it from uh, the content here and that that can work i don't know i i have to try it out so this was my idea so thank you for listening to me if you are listening to me if not just uh let me know if i can do something more for you uh about this topic um i didn't find anything on the internet that's why i i published it <laughs> so just hope that if you if you needed that <laughs> i'll tell you and just let me know and sub subscribe to the, the channel if you if you want and uh hope i am streaming <laughs> but have a fantastic uh day and evening or whatsoever where you are <laughs> bye